Let's take this example. So again, I'm going to change it to phaser. So this one, you really can't solve it, get a number, because we don't know what V1 is. But I'll just write the three equations that you'll normally set it up if you know what V1 and you can solve it. So if I change it to a phaser, this will be a capital V1. The resistor doesn't change. That's still 5. The inductor here is what? J omega L. So that will be J7W. This is 1 over J omega C. 1 over J omega. C is 1. So this inductor J omega L. My dot is here. My dot is here. It doesn't matter which side you put the dot on. When I say it doesn't matter, this side or this side, this side or this side. So J omega, um, L, L is 6 here. So J 6 W. And R is R. The only thing I left out, the mutual inductance, which is 2 Henry. So the mutual inductance J omega L, J omega L, 2 omega. Again, just like the previous one, I'll probably do three equations here. This is I sub 1. This is I sub 2. And this is I sub 3. So let's look at the first one. We'll call this loop 1. Kershaw voltage log. KVL 1. Now let's travel this way. That's negative V1, or you can make it V1 equals 5 times I sub 1 plus, let's find the current down here, which is J7W times the current down. Well, the current down is what? I sub 1 minus I sub 2. And now let's look at the mutual inductance. Let's say I decided to use the current going up for the mutual inductance, going up. If it's going up here, it's going to mark this plus to minus, which means this dot here will be plus to minus. So that'll be a plus here. J 2W. And what is the current going up there? That's I sub 3 minus I sub 2. So that's the first equation. That's for this loop. Let me erase all of these so we can look at them again when we get to the second piece. Now let's do KVL at loop number two. That's this guy. Let's begin with the capacitor. It's 1 over JW times I sub 2. Let's travel this way. So that's plus J. 6w times the current down, which is I sub 2 minus I sub 3. I'm not done with this because now I got to look at the effect of this guy on this one. So there's a mutual inductance, which is J2w times 
Now, I didn't put plus or minus, so let's look at J2W. So we're talking about the effect of this on this. Let's assume I decide to make the current coming down. I want to use the current down. That's going to mark it plus to minus, which means this will be a plus to minus. So if that's plus to minus, that's a minus J2W. And what's the current down? The current down is I sub 1 minus I sub 2. So the effect of this on this. Let's continue. Let's erase them. Now keep going. So I did this and this. Keep going. We're going to do this one. The current going up there. So plus J7W times the current going up, which is I sub 2 minus I sub 1. And let's look at the mutual inductance. Again, let me erase all of these. Let's look at the mutual inductance of this on this. So that's J2W. And again, you can pick a current down or up. It doesn't really matter. So I'm going to say I want to use the current going up. If I use the current going up, it's going to mark this plus, minus. That means my dot here is going to be plus to match this dot. And there's the minus. So there has to be a minus because that's back entering the minus side. And what is the current going up from the picture I drew there? That's what? I sub 3 minus I sub 2. If you decide to make the current down here, that will be a plus, but this will be I sub 2 minus I sub 3. So it's really the same thing. All of that is equal to 0. And now we do KVL for number 3, and that's that one. So we'll begin with this one, 3 times I sub 3 plus J 6W times the current going up. What's the current going up? I sub 3 minus I sub 2. And now let's find the effect of this on that one. There we go. Erase them again. I usually like to make the current entering the dot, but it really doesn't matter. So let's look at the effect of this mutual inductance because of this one. So that's J2W. Again, I didn't put plus or minus in it. Let me use this current coming down. So that current coming down is I sub 1 minus I sub 2. Now what is that current going to do? It's going to mark the dot positive and this end minus. That means this dot is positive this end is minus. So if I'm traveling this way, that's a positive J 2W I1 minus I sub 2. Now you have three equations by three unknowns. If we know what V1 is, we can go to our calculator, plug them in, and get an answer for that. Good luck.